pulling up to Goatman's Bridge right now, and there are two uh, unmarked cars here. One with a uh, tasteful Confederate flag on the back, which tells me something about the person that's out here. So, I guess let's just see who's out here. There's the actual road right there. Kind of hard to see because it's so dark out, but that's where I came from. Okay guys, so it's 10.40 p.m. It's April 2019, and for the first time in Paranormal Files history, I am returning to the Goatman's Bridge. Our episodes that we filmed at Goatman's Bridge back in 20... Damn, it would have been 2017, so two years ago, are some of our most popular. I'm sure you guys have seen it if you're watching this video. Definitely seemed like that was a figure, though. Over, Over there, there, yeah. That was freaky, that was man. Weird. That was really freaky. Ooh, it's kind of colder here. You feel that? I'm getting very negative. Jesus Christ. What was that? So if you're here, come punch one of us or attack one of us. I'm yours. Oh, 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 yeah, dude, look at this oh, shit. Yeah, dude, look at this shit. You stepped, lift the bitch up or something. Oh, right? dude. oh, dude, look at these are these are all. Look at this shit. Oh, yeah, oh. Yo, chill the fuck out. Everyone, chill the fuck out. Turn your lights off. <laughs> So there you go, Go Man's Bridge, stay spooky. <laughs> a couple of important updates. Um, so we found out later that the strange structures that we found in the woods were actually part of a haunted house attraction that they operate in Denton. Those kids that took us out there told us that these were just things that they found in the woods. They didn't give us any historical context. We couldn't figure out what they were just by searching online, but eventually someone messaged us and told us about this haunted attraction and we had actually entered down the path that you go in the Halloween season to get to these structures so it's not like there's Satanists out here that we discovered that's all I mean we can't retroactively go back and add that into the video because it's impossible but we're just gonna set that record straight now because don't want to misguide people those are all just part of a haunted house attraction that operates in the fall like I said before those people that took us out there were tripping on acid and they were very freaked out to be out with us in that area but we've seen you know plenty of spooky things since then and we're way more mature now going out here I keep saying were or we are but in reality I'll turn this right here where Peyton usually is but she was not feeling well tonight this is the only chance that we had to come out to Denton Argyle in the next month or two so we decided that I should just go shoot the video now. I'm out here alone actually, like I said, 10.45 p.m. at night right now. And I just also, before we start the video, I wanna clear up a few things about the history of the old Alton Bridge here in Denton. There's this very popular myth that an African-American goat farmer named Oscar Washburn once lived in this area and that he was actually lynched on this bridge and that his, you know, spirit is what the goat man is that he's angry for being lynched he's angry for dying in this unjust way but i'm sorry to rain on your parade but oscar washburn never existed there's no census records of this guy there's no record of any lynching on the bridge uh the only act of violence that i could even find an allusion to online was a shootout between a outlaw sam bass and some texas rangers which i don't know if it actually happened or not, I just read about it in an article, but that's the only thing that I could find that even happened here on the bridge. There's also another, um, let me pull it up right here. Someone's pulling in right now. <sighs> um, it's kind of weird when people pull in here this late at night, I'm like, what are they doing? But I don't want to seem too sketch. There's also a legend that a African-American man was hung, or I should say lynched somewhere around the base of the bridge from a tree that he died during the Texas unrest, the period of racial tension in the time during, before, after the Civil War. 
but once again, that myth also has no truth to it. And so I'm just trying to start this video out with a little bit of truth to tell people that no one actually died here on Goatman's Bridge. There's no goat man that was lynched here. The facts are what we like for the show. We don't like spreading false information. And if we can be some of the first people to talk about this, then it's good because I personally, even though we had some trippy experiences here before, I really don't think that this place is as haunted as people think. It was definitely weird the times that we came here and the things that happened, but based upon how I feel and the other places that we've been, it's just, it's not the same as these other spots we've been to. There's also a legend that Goatman has a house back in this area. I actually found some pictures on a forum thread of the house. They showed pictures of it. It looks very creepy. So when I go back there right now, I'm going to go try find the house because apparently you just walk down this path and keep going. There's a lot of bugs out. So I'm going to check and see if I've got bug spray because <laughs> I uh, don't want any West Nile Zika shit. <laughs> yeah, this is our big return to Goatman's Bridge episode, but Peyton's feeling sick. I had to do this one alone and I got a I can't spend too much time out here because I have to go home and help Peyton and make sure she feels better. But yeah, being out here alone is definitely just kind of a weird feeling. I can't remember the last time I actually went urban exploring or doing anything like this alone. Just not knowing who's in the woods is the creepiest part. I'm gonna head over to the bridge, ask some questions, use the REM pod, uh, see if I can find the house and see if I can contact whatever energy seems to have latched itself onto this land so strongly. So the last piece of this puzzle is the satanic rituals. Now, obviously, I don't believe in demons. That's a big thing about our channel. Um, we could tell you that we believe in demons and we could lie to you and act a certain way and try to get a certain, you know, set of followers just by saying that we're catching demons and exercising demons and doing whatever with you know demonology but I don't believe in demons we don't believe in all of that I think that adding the term demon on top of this paranormal activity this unexplainable activity that we really don't even understand at all just hurts the field and hurts the research possibilities rather than helps them because when you say something's a demon you're acting like you know exactly what it is and you're saying this is exactly what this is you shouldn't mess with this you can't do this this is gonna happen to you but in all of these places that we've been to, never seen a demon, never been attacked by a demon, never heard a demon, never felt like I've seen a demon. A lot of these people actually that we talk to that own these locations also disagree with the whole demon thing. And they say that they believe demons aren't real after living in houses investigating. It's kind of the undercurrent of paranormal investigation that needs to rise to the top in order to really bring it to the next level and bring paranormal investigating into the next generation. It's really an antiquated belief to think that, you know, there's a demon out here in these woods that's attacking people. I don't even, I mean, it, that's in my mind. If you guys believe in demons, that's fine by me, but we're trying to show you that it's, there's a possibility that they don't exist. And in my mind, they don't. And I've done hundreds of paranormal investigations, been to literally, 400 500 different haunted places at night and the day all stayed in them investigated them and i've never even come close to something that i would call demonic the whole part of this legend is that there's satan worshipers that come out here if you read on any forum people talk about how there are people in robes that they've seen themselves all of this stuff people have seen rituals going down ghost adventures talked about this now once again i don't know if that would even open up a portal since I don't believe in demons or anything like that but maybe people are out here doing something like that if they've killed animals or sent out just intensely negative energy into the environment time after time maybe that has created a stain on the environment the natural area that surrounds the bridge the materials of the bridge themselves I don't know but that's the one thing that we can't disprove because I haven't been here for every second that the old Alton Bridge has been standing, nobody has, so I can't say exactly what happened here and what didn't, but when we have the names that these legends revolve around, like Oscar Washburn, we can go back to the census, we can research the data and the history of the area and see that it never happened. But anyways, it's getting kind of late, I'm going to turn the car off now, head out to Goatman's Bridge, see if I can find his house, and you guys are going to see it all raw, right here on the Paranormal Files.
So, mini update, good news. I found some bug spray. Thank God for that. I'm gonna apply this and then take you to the bridge. So, just so that there's no editing discrepancy, I actually just put a jacket on because I want to reduce the amount of bugs that get onto my arms. But I'm gonna head into the bridge area now and turn the camera around. Let's do this, guys. There's actually some people making some really loud noises down there. I have no idea who the hell they would be. You can see their flashlights over there. But they're being very loud. So, my light is actually so dark that you can barely see the path. I mean, I can barely see shit. But, I'm walking back to the Goatman's Bridge area right now. You really can't see shit. Damn. This light is like so weak. Looks like I'm just back in these creepy woods alone looking for the goat man. Just walk through a spider web. Um Okay, well truthfully. I did not expect to find something like that upon instantly walking in. What the f***, dude? This is like... I'm kind of worried someone's out here, like, no lie, guys. I'm just gonna check and see what this is. This is some like, this is some melted plastic or wax. It's like someone set up for a bonfire. I'm just gonna keep walking back here. It doesn't help that I don't know how the f to turn the brightness up on the flashlight. Well, hoping this is the correct path. I feel like I'm hearing like breathing around me. I'm not being over dramatic at all. Devil board. Seems like I don't know. There's just like some random posts there. And this thing. Um, let me turn on the night shot to give you guys better. Look at what I'm seeing. Yeah, there you go. Spider web. Yeah, this is definitely kind of creepy. Uh, this seems to just be oh, a lot of mud. There's a ton of bush light back there. Seems to be the beer goat man enjoys. Um, I'm not really seeing any signs of this house. Might have been torn down, but here's a creek right here that runs under the bridge. So I'm walking around this whole area alone. I'm not really seeing any signs of a house. Hear stuff moving around the woods. I know it's probably animals, but it's so creepy. Well, I'm gonna keep walking around. Oh, my phone might just shut off randomly. <laughs> uh, my phone is flipping out. I won't play the video I just tried to load. You can see right there, it's just sticking on a black screen. Maybe this is the path? 
Uh, this is where I just came from, I think. I wish I had a brighter light. Well, I can walk down this little path real quickly. Look at my phone, is like... Oh! Big bug. I'm just gonna try this path one more time and see if I can find this house. There's a ton of sparkling stuff. I don't know what all this is, but it's like sparkling pink glitter, it looks like. It's like everywhere. It's kind of weird. I don't know why that's on the ground, but it's right by this crap. Well, this whole area seems to be flooded out, so I can't really... Oh, Jesus Christ, literally, what the f***, man? I just, oh, just walked right into a big-ass spider. Man, what the hell? Okay, first off, that was very loud noise. Second off, random handkerchief and just a ton of shit around here. Oh, and what the f is the deal with this unlit fire? It's just, it, or lit fire with more on it. It's just bizarre. Oh, here comes someone with a light. There's some weird shit in a little pit. Um. literally explored this whole area and I do not know where the hell this house would be. I would have to come back in the daytime. So yeah, I've been walking around this area now for like 30 minutes. It's freaking hot out already. Even though it's April, I'm like sweating my ass off in this jacket. There's a ton of bugs out. Luckily I got the DEET spray so the mosquitoes aren't on me, but I keep walking into spider webs, which I mean, hate me all you want, but I just don't like it. It freaks me out, especially when I'm alone. This, I don't know where the hell this house, I don't know where the hell this house would possibly be back here. Like I said, I'll do one more quick little peek back here and ask a few questions. But, I mean, the area's flooded out. I have no idea. The house may have been demolished and might already be completely gone either way. So you never really know. But, I'm going to go ask a few questions here deep in the woods. The, the little bonfire was definitely just kind of trippy. And then I'm gonna head to Goatman's Bridge for a final piece of investigation. Can I ask you guys a question? Yeah, what's up, man? Are y'all here for Goatman shoot? No, but we've heard some about it. Do you know what the abandoned house is that's back here? I think it's on the other side of the bridge back over in those woods. Have you been looking over here this whole yeah, time? Yeah, been like 30 minutes just walking around in the dark. Damn, bro. Dang. And my light's dying, I'm like, Holy yeah. shit, I'm sweated out. You guys ever had anything creepy happen out here? Ever? We found, so one time we were walking over in the woods, so like going across, so whenever we say the house is across the bridge, we mean across like the highway over on that side. Mm -hmm. But if you cross uh, Goatman's Bridge and go over there, one time in like this swamp area over there, we found like a, an old like, it looked like somebody like had built like a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a shack, but it looked more like a like an like somebody was gonna like burn something. Like yeah. it was in the shape of like a like a dude almost. Really? Yeah. Like effigy type thing. Yeah, yeah effigy. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, what I yeah. was looking for. Yeah, bro. Yeah, we walked up on one of those. Damn. And then we like, were like off trail, like in the middle of the woods. Holy yeah. Fuck. We were like, shit, we gotta go. Let's go. <laughs> Where was that on the other side of the, the just, bridge? Yeah, just going across Goatman's Bridge over there in the woods. We've looked for it. Again, it like disappeared. Yeah. Because like a right. storm we... came through, I think, and washed it out or something. But it was definitely like the shape of a Yeah, person. bro. Yeah. It was like, I don't know how any like thing could shape that That's crazy. on accident. Yeah, yeah, I do a YouTube channel 
uh, Hell yeah. ghost hunting stuff. Cool Got beans, bro. Video was here ago, man. So I'm doing like a return video right now. Hey, that's you know what's lit, crazy? Bro. My friends told me about you. Really? Yeah, I think so. The Goat Man's Bridge f***ing Paranormal Files shit. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay, me. my friend Trevor. <laughs> bro, yeah, it's, that's awesome. It's I got my night vision on and back in the woods back here by the bridge. This is the area that supposedly Goatman is supposed to inhabit. I'll turn my EMF detector on, see if we can pick up on anything. Is there anybody here with me right now? Who are you? And why are you here? Is there a such thing as the goat man? Can you just tell me? I have an alarm sort of sound there, but definitely something natural. Well, I've been standing here for about 10 minutes. I've gotten absolutely no responses, no movement, no EVPs. It's literally just still as hell. So I want to move back over to the bridge to finish this out. Hey everybody, really quick advertisement. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It helps us so much and it takes less than half of a second of your time. Make sure when you subscribe to turn on your notifications so that you can be instantly notified both times we post videos every week. In addition, be sure to follow me, Colin, Peyton, and our show on Instagram so you can see show updates, big moments in our lives, and funny memes that we create. Yes, that's me dancing to Lil Yachty. In addition, we have a Twitter, so go tweet us, a Facebook where we post crappy memes, and a fully stocked merch store with a ton of different spooky designs. Every purchase helps fund episodes of the show, so if you want to see bigger locations, buy a piece and help support our work. Thank you so much. We love you. I tried to make this as fast as possible, so enjoy the episode and stay spooky. Lights are so dark that you can barely see anything, but I'm standing up here right now on the actual Goat Man's Bridge. Here's a very poorly crafted sigil. This little sign that just says, don't jump. I'm just gonna sit here for a second on the bridge. You can set the EMF meter right here. Is there anybody up here on the bridge with me? If you're up here, I'm talking to you calmly. It sounded almost like a goat sound just then, like a coughing. there's any spirit or otherworldly force that's either been stuck here or been brought into this world here, can you give me a sign that you're here with me? Maybe walk over to me, talk to me, I just want to talk.
Is it true that this is Shane's bridge now? And Goatman, you're no longer welcome here. Is this Shane and Ryan's bridge? So the whole big shtick of Goatman's bridge is that you're supposed to knock three times on the bridge to see if you can summon the spirit of said Goatman. So here we go. Nothing. There's a considerable amount of sigils painted on the bridge, but I don't think that that's... Oh, here's more of that glitter. Look at this. There's just a ton, probably like senior pictures. I actually guarantee you that kids come out here to take senior pictures and just throw glitter around and leave it here. That's like despicable. But it looks kind of cool on camera. So here's the far end of the bridge. Overgrown as hell, as always. Now here, to the left, is the area where the people said they found the shack. So we'll have to make another trip out here during the day sometime to see if we can find anything like that. But for now, I think that I can call this case closed as I've been out here over an hour and a half. I've heard nothing, seen nothing, felt nothing. And honestly, it's just relaxing. There's the actual sign for the Old Alton Bridge. Some good blood. To anybody or anything that's out here, this is your last chance to communicate with me. So I respectfully ask for you to give me a sign if you're here. Thank you to uh, any spirits that may be out here, but I really don't think there are any. But either way, I'm respectfully signing off and heading back to my car. So stay over here on the bridge <laughs> if you're really here. So I'm just buckling up because I'm gonna head home. No paranormal activity. Did find a kind of creepy little bonfire spot. Talked to some interesting people, but it was dead. I think the fact that the Goatman legend has been debunked so many times kind of just puts the final nail in the coffin of this legend. But when we were here before, we had some strange things happen. I can't deny that. There may be some sort of energy that's lurking in these woods, obviously from violence that may have happened in the woods that people don't know about to like I said, maybe these strange rituals have something to them, even though I don't think so. But I can't explain what happened before, but tonight nothing happened. Sorry to disappoint you guys, but it was interesting to return back to one of our old haunts. No pun intended. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for the support as always. Peyton and I love you so much. We have so many great things coming soon. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and making our dreams come true. It's Colin here. Peyton's obviously not here, but she sends love to and from the old Alton Bridge. It's Colin here. Stay spooky, guys. So, oh God. So to end this episode, just a little bit of interesting real history about Alton, the old Alton Bridge being the real name of Goatman's Bridge. Right here I'm standing at the Hickory Creek Baptist Church, right 
about a half a mile or so down the road from the entrance to the Old Alton Bridge. So this is the new church that they've constructed in recent years. But over here, this actual area, I believe it's this part of the church right here, the old Alton Chapel is actually the only surviving structure from what was once the ghost town of Alton, which is where the, you know, old Alton Bridge, the Goatman's Bridge would have connected to back in the day. This church and the cemetery are actually the only remaining pieces of that town left. So as you can see right here, this is the old Alton Chapel. It's obviously an old building that's been refurbished, redone, a surviving piece of the past. And right over here, right here is actually the old Alton Cemetery. You can see there's a retro wooden sign right there. I've searched these cemetery records for the names of the people that supposedly were lynched on the old Alton Bridge and there are no such records, but you can see some of the graves here. It's just a big dark cemetery. I'm not gonna break into a cemetery at night, but I did wanna show you guys this little piece of Alton and give you some real history on the area instead of the stuff you'll read online that for the most part is not true. Right here, this cemetery and the plots and this little building right next to it, the old Alton Chapel, part of the Hickory Creek Baptist Church. Those are the two remaining pieces of Alton. So I think I've definitively explored this legend here on the channel. So this will probably be the last time you hear about Goatman's Bridge unless we decide to go back during the day and search for that old abandoned house, which just sounds kind of fun. But second time tonight, guys, I promise it's the last. It's Colin here uh, in Denton, Argyle, I guess Old Town Alton. And as always, stay spooky. They were one of the oldest cults on the planet, if not the oldest. There's been a lot of weird stuff said about this cave over the years. There's just some sort of a force here because you can feel it. This is an honest to God adventure, like a really creepy one. <laughs> All these signs and markings that say cave this way. Here we go. Very eerie vibe up here. Holy f this is so scary. So there's like abandoned structures everywhere around here. Here it is up here. Holy f Dude, here it is. Now if this isn't like the creepiest place we've ever been. Look at this dude. A ritual Jeff. Jeff, a ritual was done here. Is there anybody down there? Scratch. What do you mean? Oh, what the f Pan! I don't know what it was. The light's already at yeah. three. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, these... Hello? Hello! <laughs>